Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Automation Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can update the firmware or basically change the firmware of the PLC. So let's go to the presentation. So in order to change firmware of the um, M251 DPA, what we need to do is to open the Ecostructure Automation Device Maintenance. So, to continue with this. So as soon as we open this, the software, the automation device maintenance, uh, it doesn't come with any files for the firmware for the PLCs. So we need to uh, get the firmware okay, from our website or for the uh, technical support that you have. And then you need to put that those files in a specific location that you can define. So if we open these um, automation device maintenance, if we go to settings, here we should be able to see uh, package settings. This is the location where you can put the files for the firmware for the M251 or different devices. Okay, but different devices compatible with device maintenance. So if we take a look over here, uh, these are the different versions that I have for the M251. So in order to use them, we just need to connect again to the controller and then um, execute and perform the uh, the firmware update. So this part is already done. Now, once we are connected with the controller, we need to use this update center. Oops, just hold on a minute. So as soon as we are connected with the controller, we should be able to see this, the green man over here. We just need to execute this part. This icon over here is the so uh, the update center. On the update center, at the moment, we only have the possibility to use the firmware. Okay, I know 100% sure when we are able to do security or reset, but at the moment, what we can do is to change the firmware of the controller. So as soon as you select the firmware, you should be able to see the different firmwares that you have on the uh, a specific path in your computer and what you need to do is to select the version of the firmware that you have you should be able to see on the list the firmware firmware selected and if you click on the this help you should be able to see which is the new firmware that you're going to use okay and then you just need to go down in the device maintenance to execute the firmware update so let's try to do this part okay so we have two options to use the pws that probably is the best one but i'm going to use this one so i can show you probably the behavior that you may have uh, for me it's not the best behavior that we can see but uh at least just to show you so you don't panic so i have this I just need to set some credentials here, installer, and I installer one. Okay, it happens every time. Okay, installer one. So I'm going to select this part, cut, copy, cut and copy. So now I should be able to see the green one, which is okay. And now if we select this update center, okay, should be able to see this option. So if we pay attention next to me, let me just move this a little bit more. Here we should be able to see update. So this will be available as soon as we select the firmware. Otherwise, it's not going to be available. So firmware. Here should be able to see different firmwares that they have. And if you pay attention here, you can see some of the numbers. So I have four. There are four available basically so in my case i'm going to select the same one that i have you can see this is the actual firmware of the controller going to save we just select it and connect it again okay and then we just need to select this one and update and i'm having some issues on my network save connect so here 
you should be able to see this kind of message. I don't know which version you're using, but uh, okay. So we just need to confirm. As soon as we start doing this, you should be able to see this icon over here. And here we should be able to see the device log. Here we can see all the options of the different states that the controller is, is having. So as you can see 21, this is probably going to take a few seconds, minutes, but we can do this together and see the complete process. Uh, let's just show the PLC side. Okay, just to show you which should be the behavior. And let me just try to pin the device so you know that pin one d1 minus t. Okay, it's going to take some time. You can skip it when you see this. Okay. 25%. In my case, I'm going to stop the record session because I don't want to, but you can skip it once again. The important thing is that having the firmware. Okay, once you have the firmware, it's just very straightforward. You can see here validate signature validate signature okay and it's doing something one thing that i saw when i was doing this is that um probably it was me but jumping between different versions didn't work for example if you are working the version of the eae or ecostructure automation expert firmware version uh, 20 it didn't allow me to use the 22 that it, i need to use something in the middle okay so let's wait for this to finish okay you can see all the all the stuff over there robot trigger as you can see in front of the device is doing something okay let's time out let's time out okay good reachable okay Good because it's rebooting as you can see over there this is the behavior that we have on this rebooting after doing the firmware update the final round the configuration of the ip address is not lost okay as you can see here it's back again there we go and there we go firmware update was successful okay so the behavior that i don't like when i add the command when i add the device is when i change the ap address because it's trying to connect to a previous device that is no longer available because i have changed it so uh, update firmware successful finalization finish everything again and then i should be able to connect once again okay so this is how you can make the firmware update so let's see if there is something that i forget to mention so this part update confirmation this is the log i already show you the different parts and uh, da, 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 da. then we just need to log in again we should be able to see the new firmware in there already installed we need to double check that this is in there so we know that this update has been done successfully and then we need to make sure that this one because as soon as it uh, make the firmware update we should be able to see the yellow man over here or the yellow person over there and then we just need to connect in order to validate and do something else in case we want it okay so we have already connected to the controller update the firmware and check the lock track for the controller so this is it this is how you can update the firmware of the Modicon M251 Deepak using the EcoStructure Automation Device Maintenance. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.